Hey everyone, Sunrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the fifth episode of Tensei Shitara Kende Shita. In the last episode, I believe we ended off on going into the, the goblin cave, right? So hopefully things go okay for our friend in there. So let's jump on in and see. Three, two, one, cut. Ready to slaughter some goblins. I mean, she's clearly excited. But yeah, this is kind of recapping us here. You can tell because she's still outside. That name kind of sounds like it could be a video game for the Sonic character. Yeah, she did not listen. <laughs> yeah, the real concern. Yeah, there's not much, like, dodging room in here, so definitely want to be careful. Definitely useful. Any kind of RPG situation should have something something like that. A get the hell out of here item. If you as you if you will. Such a big sword for her. I keep waiting for the opening to play. Maybe it's not going to. But yeah, let's let's go. Yeah, she chopped two and a half in one swing? Damn. Told you I hated these subs. Being more vindicated on that as I watch. Oh, so, okay, there we go. It was a little bit delayed, but we got this, the stab down. Yeah, I'd say we're basically an expert at this point. Just keep cutting them, just keep cutting them down. Oh, damn. Man, how is she so good at slaughtering these creatures? Yeah, that was the, the I think the one that was like the smart one, the tactician or something. Because I think I recognize it from the end of last episode. It's hard to tell with them split in half, but... So it could be a different one. Let's light up this cave. Might want to get out of the way, goblins. No oh, way, you're in a cave, so you can't get out of the way. Sucks for you. As she wags her tail. I mean, it doesn't really sound all that pleasant, but <laughs> definitely a pro. A brain really just slows you down. Let's try not to fall. I'd rather not fall. Okay, there's the opening. And what, like, uh, almost four minutes into the episode? Because there was like three or four parts I kept expecting the opening just to like play, but it never did until now. Pretty metal just leaving bloody footprints while there's a bunch of just skeletons and skulls beneath you. Could you imagine being chopped in half by a lolly cat girl with a giant sword? It'd be quite the experience, I'm sure. I just can't get over how well animated the combat is. I 
Like, I've kind of gotten used to it so it, doesn't, so it doesn't, like, blow me away or anything anymore, but it's just so impressive to watch. Like, I've definitely seen worse combat in Isekai shows, without question. A feeble first dungeon. Good old thermal vision. Always good to have. Do we spot it? Thought it was like here at first. What does it say? <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, you better run. Your ears are clearly better than mine. It's like an abyss. Oh, that'll do it. Want to see Fran do that? Just bam. I'm a little bit too small for that, but. Yeah, she is quite nice like that. All we know is she's kind of amazing, so... That is the one thing I've always been kind of worried about. Like, she still lacks that raw combat experience. Man, he is ugly. Oh god, that is... the. Uh... That's kind of worse. <laughs> they just flail their arms angrily. We like throw a bomb down there or something from here. I know we have some range attacks. Yeah, like that. Okay, we're on the same page. It should go fine. Yeah, when you see those magic circles being summoned by you, you know you're in trouble. It's hard to tell with the smoke, but I think we're killing them. <laughs> For a battle cry. Intimidating as always. Are they, are they like, yeah, already dead from that? I guess they were not much after all. But I think there's still like one really scary creature down here. <laughs> I never gonna listen to you again, Shisha. Poor Fran. <laughs> I wanted to chop them up. How could you take that from me? <laughs> Nigeta, she sounds so sad. Well, that's a big door. Definitely like a, the boss is behind here kind of door. Yeah, there is something scary down here for sure. And the door closes behind you automatically and... <laughs> I'm glad you're excited, but please don't let your guard down. There you go, there you go. Fireflies? Those are wings, oh damn. I guess they technically were bugs of some sort, but... Does look like much more of a pain to fight than goblins. Especially because there's, especially there's a lot of them on top of being able to fly. Definitely a good chance for like... The, you want to use like some kind of AoE for this. That's a thing. Yeah, there's, there's hundreds, easily. I would like... You know, use some kind of fire spin kind of attack. Like, 
engulf myself in fire and like fire it hours in like a cone sort of thing. That'd be ideal. Ah, uh, grossness. Hopefully it doesn't land on her. That's so disgusting. That's a good way to look at it. 30 minutes of bug extermination. And there's still so many, it's never gonna end. That, that, okay, that's a problem. That's a real problem. Okay, so we got a specific target we gotta go after, it looks like. Yeah, summon minion skill, he's gotta go. Ha, three circles now. That's going. Yeah, I may not have been able to kill the king or queen, but at least kill this bug. Good to hear. Oh, that could be really cool. Another big door. Hopefully there's something better behind this one. Maybe a treasure room. Okay, so there's a real, a real enemy by, behind here. Yeah, as long as we're together, should be fine. If you want to buff up first, standard procedure before going to a boss. Boost them. <laughs> I'm sure you're pretty light to begin with. Very useful. Yeah, we should be good. I don't know why you just raise a death flag right now, but it's a it's a food of my people. <laughs> well, at least he's got motivation now. As the tail just goes wild. That's really all I ask. Just please don't die. Like I'm sure she'll be fine, but I, I still worry. Okay, there was something. Looked like an item above kind of a pedestal sort of thing. I don't know what I was looking at really. But there's the actual monster. Okay. It's going fine. I think there's I think there's one. <laughs> yeah, as long as as long as that Is the door too yeah. That was the first door they went through. The one before the bug room, I'm pretty sure. Because I'm pretty sure the second one was blue. I'm not sure why this door wouldn't open. He really just comes across as so smug, doesn't he? Okay, demon of course, pretty good stats. Dark magic, sword mastery, poison magic, dark immunity, mana regen, damn. Got a lot of good stuff. Skill taker, that, that could be a problem. Better not take our skills, we earn those skills. Immense power. Why would I be scared of you? You just come across as chuny, chuny with your hand like that. I feel like this guy's probably not as strong as he's trying to present himself as. I have a feeling. 
This might be an easier fight than they're trying to lead us to believe. Okay, no, that was the one I was thinking of before. There's definitely something down there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like a big, big eye is what it was. I'm glad I finally got a good look at it. Yeah, there's definitely something going on here. Goblins don't get a take. Okay. It's just a cave. I feel like that's not how this is gonna go. Oh, yeah, shut up. <laughs> sure told you. Definitely talk too much. Yeah, we already kind of talked about that. Always very dangerous to have a demon summon that you can't fully control. Terrible idea, just in general. Okay, let's go. Because either way, he's definitely the strongest thing we've really fought. Yeah, my sword's the best sword. It looks so evil. Enchanted steel longsword. <sighs> yeah, it's as fun, much fun as it is to see her chop things in half. Like a real sword fight with parrying and stuff. It, it's nice to see. Well, <laughs> you got your sword kind of gone now, but... Oh no, that's not fair! <sighs> Disarmed was the word I was looking for. That's definitely cheating. Of course, a demon doesn't fight fair. I don't like it at all. Could you not do it? Gonna be behind you. Oh! Uh, that. Uh, that. That is so many levels of bad. Thank God we have a sentient sword. <laughs> and the arms are still attached. Uh, but that's gotta really hurt. Uh, okay, good thing it wasn't too hard to put him back on. But damn, that had to hurt. Uh, yeah, that would freak me out a little bit too. Yeah, let's try not to do that again. Man, that was cut pretty close, but we did block it. Really can't let your guard down for even a second so with him having an ability like that. Yeah, I mean, like we saw all his skills, but. I mean, digging, is that what it was? I saw, I did see digging on the list. Some weird kind of shadow digging. <laughs> okay. I guess that's sort of digging. At least I'm assuming that's what the digging on the list meant. Didn't, didn't it mention poison immunity? I think I saw that. <laughs> Fitting name, but please don't shoot it at us. 
You really should just kill him. I mean, it wouldn't take very long. Let's cut off his arms. I definitely was wrong, but this being a easier fight than expected. I can we fire javelin? I don't know. And this yeah, this might come down to needing to retreat. But you definitely don't want to, you know, have to retreat in your very first dungeon crawl. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, it's slightly hit him. I think it's has some more blood there. But we're not dead yet. Sparks continue to fly. Okay, that was definitely a pretty good slice, but it doesn't seem too concerned. I don't like that. Oh! I think that was a skill stealing thing. Me. Yeah, skill taker. Yeah, because you weren't powerful enough as it was. Is the episode about to end? It really is, damn it. I had a feeling with the way they were zooming in on my faces. I want to play as Fran in a video game. Is that so much to ask? So many make a video game spin ops, right? Can can this one get one? The greater demon cheated. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's such a freaking cheater. And yeah, then just the, uh, the credits. And nothing after them, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but yeah. Okay, that was the f fifth episode of Tensei Shtada Kende Shta. And this episode is very much continuing where we left off with the dungeon exploration. And this is Fran's first real dungeon exploration trip. So... As a result, a little bit worried about her, but for the most part, she's doing very well. Obviously, the standard goblins and stuff are basically can cannon fodder for her. No big deal at all, right? And even the bugs were a little bit of an issue, mostly because they like, kept so many more of them. And just inherently, a flying creature, especially a lot of small ones, is like a, 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 more or less a hard counter towards a sword fighter because it's just so difficult to do. You essentially have to wait for them to come at you and there's like a small window where you can actually slice them before they just hit you, so it, it's definitely a rough thing to deal with, but even that she was able to get through, which was good. And her stuff all powered up and whatnot. I think they said she hit level 17, which sounds pretty low, I mean, just because I'm used to like... 
the MMORPGs where you spend most of your time at the max level, you know, doing endgame content and all that. You know, all the lower levels you don't spend much time at, but, you know, 17 is still better than whatever she was before, so it's still improvement, which is the important thing. She gets all buffed up and ready for the, the main fight, and that's been mostly what I've been worried about for this, because they have been kind of like making him seem all scary and stuff, but I was also kind of like expecting, or at least preparing myself for a potential, you know, rug pull where it's like not as much of a threat as, as they were trying to build it up to be, because sometimes the shows will do that. But not here, no, this guy, even though he kind of initially came off as trying to puff out his feathers, present himself as stronger than he is, uh, no, he is quite strong. I mean, he's also a cheater, so that there's that factor as well. You know, the, the title episode pretty much said as much, so we're, we're, pretty, we're pretty much in agreement on that. But, yeah, we actually got to the fight itself, and it's looking pretty cool as, as, as far as, like, you know, a spectator watching a fight goes, but Fran is definitely not, 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 not having the advantage, right? It's really a struggle. She's got a couple hits on him here and there after she, like, you know, kind of hyped herself up with Curry and whatnot. She was doing a bit better. But even then, still wasn't going great, and he even, I think, used his skill taker thing on her, so... It also has his digging, you know, pseudo-teleportation sort of thing he does, too, to add even more difficulties, and he can, like, summon his own sword back to him when he drops it. Just... It's not fair. It's not fair. But, yeah, just especially when she got her arms cut off. That, that did freak me out for a second. Because sometimes shows will do that where it's like a permanent arm removal and they'll get like a mechanical one or something. Sometimes shows will do that, so that was kind of what was going through my mind at the moment. But also, I was like, maybe they can just heal it, so I wasn't like freaking out too much, but freaking out a little bit. Luckily, we were able to get it all attached, but even if we can put it back on, that hurts a lot. Like, as far as levels of pain goes, having the limb suddenly chopped off, that's got to be like top three, at least top five, when it comes to like the most painful things you can experience. Right? So it's it definitely, it's in both of them too. It wasn't just one arm. Like, both arms got chopped off. And when you're a sword fighter, you kind of need those arms to swing the sword. So it's like double bad in that sense. So luckily, it was, didn't, luckily, it didn't get too bad there. But, and yeah, so that, that was the episode. Pretty cool stuff. The show does continue to, continue to impress me with the combat choreography and all that. Really makes it feel like a legit fight that you can get really sucked into rather than just the, you know, uh, curb stomping, you know, of like the, the mob characters and stuff like that. So it's, it's great to see in that sense. I just I hope Fran wins. Like, there's no guarantee she'll win because they did kind of bring up the, the item that can just get you out of there. And the best thing about that from a, you know, narrative perspective is that you can, you can have it where the protagonist doesn't win and it won't result in them just dying, right? They have an out. So in that sense, there's some real will she, won't she in the in sense of will she win or not. So, it does kind of help add some stakes to that, almost ironically, because you'd think having an easy way out would lower the stakes, but it, it does for her in a sense, just not for the audience, if, if what I'm saying makes sense uh, at all. But, because a lot of times you can just kind of assume the protagonist is going to win in a lot of situations, but not if they have an actual way to escape, you, you can't guarantee that. So, even though he's quite powerful, it's not like it's like a monumental difference, so it's something that could potentially be overcome, you know, if she's creative slash lucky you know so it's uh, the fact that i don't know for if she'll win or not the fact that the show was able to get to to cause that to happen within me is uh, is a good point in its favor it really makes me more sucked into the fight but if that makes sense at all but anyway that's all i really got to say about the episode so thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video until then bye bye